Hi there. I'm definitely not having a party. <laughs> In fact, I'm definitely not even here. <laughs> and this certainly isn't a party hat. See, it's very, very easy to mistake a party for something else, for, say, a traffic jam or a field of wheat, do you see? As usual, the European Union are trying to accuse this Brexit government of all kinds of joie de vivre. They're trying to scupper, if you will, HMS Brexit, the symbol of the British Empire and Imperial Global Freedom. The answer is very simple. Party it may have been. But party what? The EU traitors have got it all just sans frontière. It wasn't a party. It was a party conference. An opportunity to gather, if you will, to confer. And so I hope that's clear. We were conferring in the number 10 champagne bar. Many important issues were being discussed. For example, whether Matt Hancock could be awarded the Nobel Prize for services to romance. Pretty Patel was there, sitting in the corner, looking rather forlorn, I have to say, dressed as Santa, waving a festive noose made out of tinsel. I turned up in my refugee outfit with a life belt around my middle, which she seized and ripped from me, saying, you won't be needing that where you're going, sunshine. <laughs> of course, the party conference was all over by three in the morning, except for the conga. And then there were cries of, a quiz, a quiz, and the PM duly obliged. He said, it's the people's priorities, he rejoined. And when I say rejoined, I don't, of course, mean rejoined. The quiz went on for rather longer than expected because the first ten questions were name ten things that have improved since Britain left the European Union and nobody could think of an answer. So sadly, it was nul point all round. The PM asked Rishi if he would care to invent some answers to the to the quiz. However, Rishi was too busy with his measuring tape and asking whether anybody had a Pickford's app on their mobile phone that he could borrow. Ah, now, I see that uh, Martin's telling me that I haven't been invited to a non-party party at dear Michael Gove's cocktail hour. At this, he won't, of course, be sharing any of the Colombian-grade baking soda from his stash because he's too busy fighting the war on drugs and trying to find out which EU traitor smeared cocaine all over the lavatories in the Houses of Parliament toilets and then called in the sniffer dogs. So off I go to a party that doesn't exist and to drinks that won't be drunk and the double plus good odd chilli flavoured nacho. Hurrah. Do you see? We're taking back control.